Hey guys, Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to calculate the bond order when you have the Lewis structures. So let's start uh, with what is the bond order? What what does it tell you? So bond order is the number of bonds that exist between two atoms. For example, if the bond order is one, then that means you have a single bond. If the bond order is two, then it's a double bond. If it's bond order three, then it's a triple bond. But you can also have bond orders that aren't whole numbers. For example, if you had a bond order of 1.33, then that means there's one and one third of a bond that exists between atoms. And you can have partial bonds when you're dealing with resonance, which we'll see with some of these examples. Other things that you need to know about bond order is that the higher the bond order, the stronger the bond and the more stable the structure is because stronger bonds will release more energy so there will be less potential energy. So just remember, higher bond order means that the molecule is more stable because you might get a question on your test or on homework which asks you which one is more stable based on the bond order. And then lastly, to calculate the bond order between two atoms, it's equal to the number of bonds divided by the number of bonding domains and this will make a lot more sense when we go through the examples so for each of these questions each of these structures we're going to determine the bond order of course if you're just given a formula you first have to draw the loose structure so if you're having difficulty of drawing loose structures definitely check out my video where i just quickly go over how to do that in steps but we have loose structures all here so let's jump in and take a look at some bond orders so for first for first one, we're going to have to calculate the bond order of CO. What's really important to recognize here is that this structure has resonance. And if you're not too familiar with resonance, I'll just give you a quick overview. Essentially, you can draw three possible structures. You know how here we have the double bond on the oxygen on the top, but you could have drawn the double bond on, on this oxygen, or you could have drawn the double bond in, on this oxygen. The important thing to realize for about resonance is that the, the real structure is the average of all the structures. That means in reality, each of these bonds right here, they're neither single bonds nor double bonds, but they're more of the average of the three possible resonance structures. So knowing that, we can calculate the bond order for each of these CO bonds. So this is going to be the number of CO bonds. We have one, two, three, four. So four on top, divided by the number of CO domains. So this can be one, two, three CO domains. So that'll be four divided by three, which is one point three three or one and one third. So that means that each of these bonds are one and one third of a bond instead of a single bond or a double bond. All right, let's move on to the next example. We're gonna cover, or we're gonna calculate how the bond order of enol. And again, important to recognize that this is another structure that has resonance. We could draw a second resonance structure with the double bond on the, on the left instead of the double bond on the right. So since this structure has resonance, it means that both these enols are uh, they, they have the same the same bond order. So to calculate the bond order, it's going to be the number of NO bonds, which is 1, 2, 3, divided by the NO domains, so 1 NO, and then another NO. So 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5. So that means each of these bonds are 1.5 bond instead of a single bond and a double bond. Okay, moving on to the next one. Just looking at this, we can tell that this one doesn't have resin have resonance. Especially in Gen Chem, you'll only deal with resonance if you have a double bond that's able to quote unquote move around. But we only have single bonds here, so then we know we're not dealing with resonance. And if we're not dealing with resonance, it's super easy. You just look at how many bonds. So that each of these CF bonds are single bonds. So that means the bond order is just going to be one. Or if you want to use the the, the formula, then you have one, two, three, four CFs divided by one, two, three, four CF domains, which is just going to be one. So each of these are a single bond, bond order one. And then for the last one, we uh, this one looks a little different because we have multiple central atoms, but I, I doubt you draw this in, in just in case you see these on the exams. So we're gonna calculate the bond order of a couple of specific bonds. So for start of this one, when you look at this carbon-carbon bond, you can tell that it doesn't have resonance because there's no double bond that can move around here. So that bond order is just gonna be one because it's a single bond. This one's bond order, because it's a triple bond, it's going to be three. And then this carbon, um, it just has a single bond, so that'll be one. And then these, so these are the more, I guess, challenging and <coughs> more difficult part of, of this question. It's important to recognize, once again, that there's resonance. The double bond could have been down here instead of being up there. So that means each of these CO bonds, they're the same strength and the same length. They have the same bond order. So we have to use the formula. There's a total of one, two, three COs divided by one CO and two CO domains. So that'll be three over two 
or 1.5. So that means each of these seal bonds are one and a half bond. And that's it. That's how you would calculate the bond order if you have the Lewis structures.